namaste. My name is Preeti Upala, and I am a global thought leader and a multimedia personality. Welcome to my podcast, The Preeti Experience. Join me as I explore some of the most fascinating and crucial issues that affect our world today. I take a unique global perspective on these issues and the very foundation of my insights is humanity and spirituality. I'm Preeti Upala and welcome, welcome to the Preeti, Preeti experience. experience. So you was a simping ass, <laughs> which means you are a loser, which means no one wants you. You are simp. You're making a lot of eye contact during this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of realness in what's going on. You started off oh my God. quite hurtful. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Cobb County, to be exact, which is a suburb within Atlanta. Is uh, it near Buckhead, Atlanta? <laughs> uh, 10 minutes from I like Buckhead. Buckhead. You like Buckhead? Yeah. Fish your, it's my kind of okay. place. <laughs> Fish your demographic. <laughs> no, I'm from, uh, Buckhead is close, uh, but it's not like, it's like night and day. It's like trash and gold. <laughs> so the first word is going to be cap. Cap, C-A-P. C-A-P, cap. Cap, cap to, to, to cull, to put, end something. You know, I'm going to cap this line here. That's my guess. I think cap might be a bullet, because I remember like, 90s hip hop would be like, yeah, man, I'll put a cap in, cap in your bum, back cap in your, cap in your ass. <laughs> Being put a, put a bunch of caps up there. So I'm get used in a sentence. Hey, hey, you, and she put a cap in, in this, this bum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cap means getting over on somebody. So I'm oh, capping. Okay. So I'm taking advantage of a situation. So basically, I finessed you. Oh, cap. Mm. So capitalized. So cap is like oh. I sell it to you higher than what I oh, got it okay. for. I so you I just over. yeah, I just okay. capped on you. Oh, so you bamboozling. Yeah. So I bamboozled you. I capped you. That's so fantastic. So I use it in a sentence like, man, I just sold him some Jordans for eighty dollars, but I paid sixty. I just capped his ass. Ah, oh. well, that's evolved, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next word would be bando. 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 Cocktail, maybe? Okay. A mixture of different drinks. Uh, I just love the bando that they mixed. When you see a good live band, and you're like, oh, that, that bando. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, bando means a trap house. Uh -oh. It means I'm selling drugs out the bando. Oh my God. Which means it's a deserted piece of <laughs> shit. It's like it's like an abandoned house. It's an abandoned house, house yeah. turned into a, a drug house. They, they have they might have bandos in Australia. I think they do somewhere in the middle of nowhere, maybe in the outback. There's, uh, I, there's a bunch of bandos I know <laughs> in my neighborhood. <laughs> Turns out I was, I was living right next to a bunch of bandos. Oh. Half my friends are bandos. <laughs> so the next word is guapanese. Wow. It's a mixed race. I know Japanese and something else. Maybe a cuisine. Okay. Well, let's go for Guapanese tonight. Mmm. What time? <laughs> well, I know Guap's meant to be like money. Like he's got he's got mad Guap, yo. And knees is like Japanese. So if you, I don't know. Maybe it's a dance move. Like, hey, I'm gonna be Guapping these knees tonight. <laughs> by being a, <laughs> I'm gonna be in the clubs listening to my ludicrous CDs, just guapping these knees. <laughs> so, Guapanese is a language that was made up by this rapper named Jose Guapo. Shouts out to him. And you basically put E's on the end of every word. So I'm saying like, I'm finna go to the restroom E's. To P's. <laughs> I know this sounds really strange, yeah, right. but I'm putting E's yeah. on every word. You guys talk very funny. So it's enough. like kitchen naive <laughs> to make some food naive. It just sounds me. like you're having a stroke. <laughs> 
So the next word would be partner them. Pot partner them. Wow. Something to do with marijuana. Mm. Yeah. 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 Like, good like, herb? Yeah. Mm. Let's go smoke some pot and deem. <laughs> <laughs> It's something a rapper did about catching a cold. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> this partner done screwing me up. Aww. I need I need Sudafed. Hilarious. Sudafed knees. <laughs> okay. So partner them is a term for friends of multiple people. So it's like, that's my partner then. Oh, my little entourage. So like, oh, so so like this is my, my partner my keeps... and you're them. Oh, oh, I see. So I don't know yeah. who you are, but this is my partner. So that's my partner then. But what happens if you're the, you're the dem? Isn't that a bit insulting? It is a bit insulting, but just know that you're with my partner. Yeah, but you're tagged on the, the partner and then it's like, So it's my partner then. So, so we would have picked the, the other camera. Guys? All these are my partner, partner then. Them. It's oh friends. God. It's a term for friends of multiple people. Why don't you just say friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's shorter and simpler. So the next word is yin. Yin, oh my God. It's a, it's a, it's a verb. Cool. Use it in a sentence. What would you think? That is yin. Well, it might be like, yo, man, where you been? But apparently you guys want to take like 15 words and make them one. So it'd be more like yin. And then, <laughs> uh, and, then, <laughs> and then your friend would be like, thanks for us, game partner them. And then, and then he'd be like, is that a Hawks game? Watching all of the Hawks. So yin oh. is you. Oh, okay. So, I, so I'm gonna use it in a sentence. You ain't never seen nobody look like this before? Like you ain't. Like you and Bean, together. Thanks. You guys are crazy. <laughs> oh, the next word would be jug. Skull. Uh, throw down. So you just jug? Jug, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I wanna jug that beer down. Oh, okay. Jug. Is it like a jolly thug? Maybe. It's like a really friendly thug. He's like, he's a jolly thug. So I was like, look at my jug over there. He's chill, you fun guy. Fun, <laughs> no. yeah, fun, fun strip club bouncer. <laughs> so he's a good jug. He's a good jug. Okay. Jug means making plays. So I'm out here jugging. Hustling. Hustling, exactly. I'm jugging. Okay. Ah. Jugging. So the next word would be simp. Simple. It's simp. It's come on. You can do it. It's simp. You can call your friend. Yeah, what's up, pimp? And then simp could be like, what's up? So instead of once again you saying, what's up, pimp? It's now just simp. Simp. Mm. simp. Okay. So simp would mean a lame person, a person who is like easily able to get over on. Like you're like. Like a loser. You're a loser. Exactly. <laughs> So it's short for simple, as in basic, as in a reggie. As in stupid. As in a loser. Oh. So you was a simping ass nigga. <laughs> okay. Which means you are a loser. <laughs> which means no one wants you. You a simp. You're making a lot of eye contact during this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of realness in what's <laughs> coming out. <right> now. <laughs> we started off fun oh and now it's quite hurtful. <laughs> In conclusion of Slanguage, I will have to say the winner is Pretty. Hey, yay, man, I'm so happy. You are now I can't wait to go to Atlanta and try all this Yes. <laughs> Come to Atlanta, where nothing makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.